All right, it's time for another 6.5 Grendel video. Today we're going to use the Hornady 123 grain Boatel hollow point. We're going to use the CCI number 41 primers and IMR 8208 XBR. So we used this um, bulk 123 grain before with some pretty decent results, so we're going to try again today. We're going to use that same overall length we used the last time we used them at 2.280 cartridges overall length. We're going to start out at 26.6 grains and work our way up to 27.5 grains. Now, Hornady doesn't specifically list load data for this combination, but we've shot enough of 8208 XBR. I think we'll be fine at that 27.5 max load that we're shooting today. We're going to shoot five shot groups, and we're using brand new Starline small rifle primer brass. So let's get out on the range, and let's see how the Grendel shoots. Alrighty, we are out here on the range. This is my 20 inch 6.5 Grendel with an Athlon 6-24 Argos BTR Gen 2 optic. Target is at 100 yards. Getting velocity through our lab radar, we're using the Hornady 123 grain Boatel hollow point and 8208 XBR. Um, if you notice, I am shooting off the bipod today. Um, we used to shoot this gun off the bipod all the time, and I'm kind of thinking maybe it shoots a little bit better with the uh, bipod loaded. Um, so, we'll see today. It is a nice day to shoot, probably about 83 degrees out, a little bit humid, no wind to speak of. Alright, so the 123 grainer shot excellent in the 6.5 Read more. So let's see how they shoot in the 6.5 Grendel. Alright, so not a great group to start. Let's get all this brass out of this brass catcher here. Brass looks pretty good. Let's take a look at our velocity there. Alright, our velocity there was 2361 average, 20.5 SD. So, uh, not a great start. Let's see what this next group will do. Looks like a better group there. Let's take a look at this brass. All right, that brass looks really good as well. Let's take a look at our velocity data there. All right, that one we were 2404 average with a 12.4 SD. All right, so let's go ahead and move on up. Alright, that looks to be the best group so far. Take a look at our brass. Alright, brass looks just fine. Alright, that one we were looking at 2418 average with a 17.3 SD. Not terrible numbers. You know, this is new brass. We are moving up to the highest charge today at 27.5 grains. Alright, so, looks like we started out with a little bit bigger groups, and uh, by the uh, middle of the target we had some decent looking groups there, and then they opened back up at the end. Alright, let's take a look at this brass and the velocity here. Alright, going to look at our velocity real quick here. Alright, our velocity on that last group there was 2449 with an SD of 5.3. So let's get over there and let's take a look at the target. All right, so we're back at the bench here taking a look at our target. First group at 26.6 grains, shot 2361 feet per second, 20.5 SD, and a 1.5 inch group. Moving on to 26.9 grains. We shot 2404 feet per second, 12.4 SD, and a 1.1 inch group. Moving on to the 27.2 grain, we shot 24, 18 feet per second, 17.3 SD, and a 0.72 inch group, best group of the day. And on our last group there, we shot 2,449 feet per second, 
an excellent 5.3 SD, but group kind of fell apart at 1.55. Now it did look like maybe that point of impact was moving up, so maybe we were between a point of impact shift with that last group. Um, I don't know if I'll push up with this anymore. This was kind of just a fun experiment. I haven't shot the 6.5 Grendel in a little while and just felt like shooting the gun. So overall, looking at our brass, there's really nothing to see here. I'll throw up a couple quick pictures here, but the brass looks like it's in good shape. I think we could push up just a little bit higher, but as most people know, with 8208 XBR, you gotta be careful pushing up towards max because sometimes you can get those pressure spikes. So comment down below what you guys would like to see next with the 6.5 Grendel. But overall, pretty happy with that 0.72 inch group with the 6.5 Grendel with some bulk 123 grain Botel hollow points. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time.